This is a world of motion we live in, a world of speed, a world of power and performance. On land, over water, in the air, we are carried swiftly, surely, by the powerful craft we have developed. Our motorized units respond to emergency, protecting lives and property. Our automobiles, the vehicles into which we have built efficient, smooth-running, vibrant power, answer thousands of needs in the course of our daily existence. Every minute, 24 hours a day, car owners all over the world are turning ignition switches, stepping on starter buttons, switching on headlights, doing one of the many things that bring to life the great hulks of wire and metal that are our automobiles. The parts that furnish the spark of life to the automobile, that make it a vital moving thing, are the products designed, engineered, and built in the 23 manufacturing plants of the Electric Autolite Company. Autolite gives life to the automobile, tells how it performs through a myriad of wires and gauges and meters, furnishes many parts to automobile body and chassis construction. 25,000 employees going to work each day in Autolite plants across the country, making starting, lighting, and ignition equipment in Toledo and Sarnia and Syracuse, radiator emblems, grills, tail lamp brackets, door handles in Woodstock, dials and face plates and body trim in Bay City, lamps in Cincinnati, bumpers in Springfield, and spark plugs in Fostoria, speedometers, ammeters, heat indicators, and pressure gauges in La Crosse, drawn and insulated wire in Port Huron. Across the nation with the rising sun, men and women go to work in Autolite battery plants at Niagara Falls, Toronto, Indianapolis, Oklahoma City, and Oakland. Inside these plants, the work of Autolite begins with test tubes. Autolite engineers collaborate closely with car engineers in the search for greater value, matching the tremendous march of mechanical progress with equally important electrical developments. In Autolite laboratories, months and years of patient engineering tests and research have helped bring today's cars to the highest degree of efficiency America's motorists have ever seen or experienced. Before an Autolite unit earns its place on the specification sheets of a manufacturer, the quality of its performance must be established to the satisfaction of men who are the most exacting analysts in the industry. Metallurgical analysis and rigid chemical and physical tests are routine operations on the 12,000 raw materials that pour into the Autolite plants. Each raw material, each Autolite part, from each stage of processing, each completed Autolite unit goes through the long line of testing and inspecting, research and experiment, ensuring quality products today, improved products, as each day adds more experience and more advanced methods to Autolite operations. The work of proving and advancing goes on day and night, testing, inspecting, research, experiment, proving Autolite's right to be the only single engineering source supplying a complete starting, lighting, and ignition system to the automobile industry. Autolite is important to the automobile industry because it is complete, because it is basic, because each unit is built and controlled from the ground up by Autolite. In the foundry at Fostoria, 400,000 pounds of metal are poured every day in this highly mechanized operation that makes the gray iron castings of Autolite. In other Autolite plants at Woodstock, great batteries of machines produce zinc-based castings, and the special hydraulic machines developed by Autolite engineers produce aluminum castings. In the most modern plating department in the world, and one of the few that form an integral part of a die casting plant, these castings receive the coatings of bright chromium and nickel that produce the mirror smooth finish for Autolite automobile parts. From raw materials to complete precision electrical systems and bright polished accessories, the men of Autolite build for the automobile in plants across the country.
in its plants at Port Huron and Sarnia. Autolite produces wire and cable and coils. From 75,000 pounds of raw material copper, Autolite draws 14,000 miles of copper wire every day. Copper drawn through a series of dies to gauges ranging from a quarter of an inch to one three thousandth of an inch. Copper drawn through diamond dies and made into wire one half the thickness of a human hair. Copper that goes through finer and finer draws and baths and processings, emerging in a beautiful silver sheath or coated with colored woven thread. Precision workmanship and planned supervision in cable and wire plants feed other Autolite plants with the fine spun sole around which the spark of life for the automobile will be built. In Toledo, coils are insulated and sealed in one of the many methods that have been developed by Autolite for superior results. Each finished coil without exception must prove itself in operation. The control that is maintained throughout each Autolite operation, even to the conditioning of air in the room where condensers are wound, is one of the factors responsible for high production standards and quality products in all of the 23 plants of the Autolite organization. For behind every worker in each of these plants and behind the vast diversification of products stand the theory and the experiment and the corrective supervision of a large engineering department. Each engineering, mechanical or production problem is different. Each electrical unit, custom built to rigid specifications, is another challenge to Autolite's central engineering division that serves all units and spreads through all the plants the same ideals of advanced design and quality control. The result in Syracuse and Sarnia and Toledo Autolite plants is production of a truly balanced and uniform electrical system, the starting motor, coil, distributor, and generator. Centralized engineering, planning, development of methods have woven together the operations of thousands of skilled workers and intricate machinery so that frames for starting motors punched from flat steel by huge presses go through half a hundred different operations of turning, drilling, milling, and tapping, then move ahead while other parts, intricately machined and fashioned, come to join them in an assembly operation that is far more delicate and complicated than in any automobile factory. Production and assembly of generators is also an example of the coordination resulting from a system of centralized engineering. Only through fundamental research, development and planning of methods, machinery and work, and scheduled supervision could the efforts of workers and machines be brought together with the precision and exactness of these operations in the Autolite plant. Typical of Autolite quality production is the super finisher machine that gives distributor shafts the perfectly polished surface that reduces wear. 
Every operation in the manufacture of ignition distributors illustrates the precision demanded by Autolite specifications. Through each step, down to a rigid operating visual and customer's dimension inspection, precision control guides the manufacturing. The entire ignition system, with its delicate organization of nerve-like wires, is directed to one objective, to deliver a spark of the right characteristics in the right place at the right time. To make this fully possible, Autolite engineers in the Fostoria plant developed a spark plug insulator from new materials with improved features, one that is built to work in perfect harmony with the rest of the ignition system. Autolite research and experiment and advanced engineering have harnessed an amazing mystery spark to give dynamic new life to motors, a result of progressive engineering and modern production methods. And in five Autolite plants, geographically placed across the nation, from New York to California, workers transform the raw materials from nature into electric storage batteries for users the world over. From east to west, with the rising sun, workers go into the plants of Autolite to apply their skill to a system of production that has been carefully planned so that tools and equipment are coordinated with materials, parts, and labor. This planning, through systematic method, assures the production of voltage control devices, as well as every Autolite unit, moving according to schedule. It means that tools and machines and equipment have been studied to determine ways of improving production efficiency and quality of products. It means that in the production of all types of switches, motions of workers have been coordinated, woven into a steady flow that feeds materials and parts to the requisite points in time and space. It means that the planning and the development of precision Autolite methods have made possible individual tests on each device for Autolite voltage and current regulators. Planning and improved production methods make it possible for Autolite to turn out 40,000 instruments every day in its lacrosse plant. Liquid level indicating instruments, magnetic speedometers, ammeters, voltmeters, heat and pressure indicators, instruments for the control panels of modern motor cars, instruments for industrial uses, instruments for airplanes. The work of this plant revolves around the tool room, where extremely accurate dies, jigs, and fixtures used in the manufacture of precision instruments are made by skilled artisans of long experience and proved ability working with the most scientifically constructed tools and machines available. Throughout the plant, timing and synchronization of parts assembly are controlled to perfection so that work flows smoothly as instruments are assembled and calibrated to tolerances of less than a ten-thousandth of an inch. Delicate, precise work for hands that fly swiftly, accurately, checked and rechecked against the most exacting specifications. These policies that guide the men of Autolite in their work in 23 plants across the country result in the Autolite ideals of advanced design and quality control. It is these ideals, combined with years of experience in producing parts for the country's leading automobile manufacturers, under their rigid system of supervision and inspection, that enables the Autolite foundry at Fostoria to produce heaters for the automobile accessory field. It is these ideals that have given Autolite the opportunity to supply the automobile industry with such innovations as electric windshield wipers, powered by fractional horsepower DC motors, produced in its Syracuse plant. It is these ideals, instituted in Autolite plants and inherent in Autolite workers, that govern production in the Bay City plant of other essential automobile parts, plastic molded products, stoplight switches, horns of every size, type, and description to go into thousands of automobiles in every corner of the land. The ideals of Autolite have built its lamp division in Cincinnati from a shed in the horse and buggy days to five great buildings in which men have fabricated all the ever-changing types of lamps from the oil burner to the sealed beam headlights of modern motor cars. 
The ideals of Autolite have given the men and women in its plants pride in their jobs, pride in the quality of their workmanship, pride in their training, and in the conditions under which they work, and have given to the Autolite organization the importance it now holds in the automobile industry. This importance is evidenced in the balanced and uniform Autolite electrical system and in the many other products made under the same Autolite standard of preserving quality above cost. In its Springfield, La Crosse, and Bay City plants, Autolite produces automobile bumpers and bumper parts, spring covers, hubcaps, metal decorative lithographing and etching, automobile seat adjusting mechanisms, dials, face plates, scuff plates, and body trim, unit after unit, to add to the long list of automobile parts and accessories, supplying every American motor car manufacturer with one or more Autolite product. From east to west, with the setting sun, workers leave the Autolite plants in New York, Ohio, Ontario, Michigan, Indiana, Illinois, Wisconsin, Oklahoma, California. In 23 Autolite plants, 25,000 trained men and women have this day given life to thousands of automobiles. Autolite plants in 15 cities have supplied outlets the world over with the vital parts that give the spark of life to modern motor cars. The work of Autolite never ceases, never sees the end of a day. In every corner of the world, Autolite is giving service that goes on day and night, following the sun, knowing no dates and boundaries. The importance of Autolite to the automobile and to all industry is worldwide. The scope of Autolite's operations is worldwide. And the most important phase of Autolite service goes beyond the installation of products into automobiles, beyond its network of service stations. It is the Autolite Service School, a unique institution established to give servicemen from all parts of the world a course of study and practical shop work so that the service of Autolite is carried on through the life of its products. Contributing to the tremendous scope of its operations are the many products of other Autolite plants that give the organization experience in methods, in planning, in engineering, in research. These products, aircraft thermometers, pressure and flight indicating devices, exhaust gas analyzers, industrial pressure, vacuum and compound gauges, and heat recording instruments, spark plug cleaners, round out the picture of Autolite as the complete supplier of the automotive field. Such Autolite leather products as portfolios, golf bags and gun cases make it possible for Autolite to supply protective boots to the automobile. The experience in metal working, games with a manufacturer of stainless steel kitchen utensils, adds to the ever-growing importance of Autolite in the manufacturing world. The automotive industry is great today, but it will go farther, much farther. Forward with the automotive industry goes Autolite, whose close connection with every motor car manufacturer has kept it informed of what is planned years ahead, so work can be projected into the future. Marching ahead with the automotive industry is the worldwide service organization of the Electric Autolite Company. Marching ahead into a still greater future are the products that are standard equipment in almost every unit of transportation today. The products of Autolite, the spark of life for our modern automobiles. <laughs>